Hi. And welcome to the Easy Way channel. Today I will show you few methods, what you can do, to fix the issue, where you launched Call of Duty Warzone, on your Windows PC, but nothing happens. Before we even start, if you just encountered this issue, go and restart your PC. You won't believe how much problems, one restart of your Windows can fix. So do that, and if it didn't work, come back, and try these methods. Before we start, hit that like button, and I will be right back. Okay. I have researched quite a bit this topic. And I found bunch of confirmed solutions. So let's start with first method. And that is to scan and repair game files. Open up Battle.net Launcher. And up here, select Call of Duty Warzone. Click on this cog icon. And then select Scan and Repair. On this window, click Begin Scan. This will scan your game files for any missing or corrupted files, and if any, it will replace it with new ones. Leave it to the end of the scan. It might take some time for this process to finish. When it finishes with the scan, launch the game, and see did it fixed your problem. Second method is to rename Call of Duty folder in Documents. Close Battle.net Launcher completely. Right-click on your taskbar, and select Task Manager. Under Processes tab, find any Battle.net related processes, and then, right-click on it, and select End Task. Close Task Manager, and open your File Explorer, and then open Documents folder. Here, you will see this Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder right-click on it, and select Rename. Just type anything at the end, and press Enter. Launch Warzone now, to see did this worked. Just to remind you, this will delete all in-game settings for Warzone, and if this didn't fix the problem, come back here, and delete whatever you wrote here to restore your settings. Third method, is to delete Battle.net cache. Right-click on Start, and select Run. Type, Percentage, Local Opdata, Percentage, and hit Enter. This folder will open, and here you need to find Blizzard Entertainment folder. Right-click on it, and select Delete. Try to run the game now. Next method is to set Modern Warfare to launch as Administrator. Open Battle.net Launcher. Select Warzone up here, and then click on COG icon. Select Show in Explorer option. This will open Warzone installation folder. Find this Modern Warfare EXE file. Right-click on it, and select Properties. Click on Compatibility tab up here. Now, check this box, where it says, Run this program as administrator. To save these settings, click on Apply, and then OK. Launch the game now, by double-clicking on this Modern Warfare EXE file. If it works, it will probably also work when you launch it over Battle.net Launcher. Fourth method is to remove any launch options, if you have any. Click on COG icon, and select Game Settings. Uncheck this box under Additional Command Line Arguments. Click on Done and launch the game. Next is to update Graphic Card Driver. Right-click on Start, and click on Device Manager up here. Expand Display Adapters, and right-click on your Display Adapter, and select Update Driver. Select Search Automatically for Drivers. If there are no updates here, Go on the Your Graphic Driver Manufacturer website, and search driver for your graphic card. I use NVIDIA GeForce Experience, so I will open it, and check for updates. As you see, my graphic card have new update, 
so I will download and install it. If you use AMD or Intel graphic, you can also check in their applications for updates. Also, check if you have any pending Windows updates. Left click on Start and select Settings. Click on Update and Security. Click here on Check for Updates, and if there are any, install them and restart your computer. Next method is to disable NVIDIA highlights, if you have NVIDIA graphic adapter. Open NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Click on this icon here, and then click on COG icon. Now click on Highlights, and then toggle this switch, to turn it off. Try to launch the game now. Next is to disable Razer software, if you use one. Many players that use Razer or Corsair software, claim that they manage to launch the game. But after certain amount of time, game just crashes, with no warning, or any error code messages. To disable it, right-click on Start, and select Run. Type msconfig, and press Enter. This window will open. Click here on Services tab. Check this box, where it says, Hide all Microsoft services. Now find any services that are related with Razer Incorporated, or Corsair, and uncheck this box next to each. When you are done, click on Apply and OK. Then you will get this message, that you need to restart your computer. So go ahead and restart it. Check will the game crash now. But keep in mind that you will not be able to launch these applications. You will get error message that launch failed. You need to go back here, and check that boxes next each app, and restart your PC, in order to get them back working. You can also disable all apps here. Restart your PC. And if the game launches, that mean that some of the apps you have on your PC, is conflicting with the war zone. To verify what app is that, you will come back here, and then check one by one app, restart your PC and by system elimination find out what app is causing this. Then you can decide, do you want to disable it when playing, or uninstall it completely from your PC. Last method is if your game failed to launch due to game install location. You click on play, it says launching and then switch again on play. First open Battle.net. Select Warzone. Click on COG icon. And chose Show in Explorer. This will open your Warzone installation folder. Minimize it for now. Now, you need to close Battle.net completely in Task Manager, just like I explained in second method. Now return to your Warzone installation folder. Right-click on it and select Cut. Then go on any location on your hard drive. If you have two partition, or two hard drives, you can go to that second one. Or you can just go to C drive. Right-click and select Paste. Be sure you have enough space for entire game folder. You can also right-click on game folder, and select Copy, and then Paste, just for security reasons. And when your game have copied successfully, you can go and delete this original folder. When you finished with this, launch Battle Net Launcher, and chose Warzone. You will no longer have this play button, because you deleted original game folder, and launcher still don't recognize the one you copied. So, you will have this option, Install. You won't click on Install, but down here on this option, already installed, locate the game. This window will open. And now navigate to the location where you pasted game folder. When you find it, click on it once, and then click here on select folder. Battle.net will now update game location, and in a sec, you will have play button. Launch the game, and hopefully this will fix your game launching problems. With this, we came to end of this video. If any of this methods worked for you, please hit that like button to support me. 
and subscribe to my channel with the bell on. So you can get notification when I upload my next, easy way tutorial. Bye.